Hello there, welcome to another computer science tutorial. This time it's a new Android development tutorial. We are going to be covering uh, how to do how to use the navigation drawer, more specifically the navigation view. Now the original purpose of this tutorial was to show you guys how to implement the navigation view, but since uh, the new version of Android Studio comes with a template for a navigation drawer, there was not much point to do it. However, I will be showing you how to customize the navigation drawer and how to make transitions between dif between different fragments by clicking in the different elements on the list in, navi in the navigation drawer. So, best way to show you how to how this looks is to actually do it. So, let's go ahead and open Android Studio. Alright, so we are just going to start a new Android Studio project. You can see the one I was working on before doing the tutorial. We're gonna name it Navigation Drawer Video Tutorial, that's the name. Video Tutorial, it's a bit long but it's mostly for me to be able to understand what I'm doing. Now we're gonna use KitKat, which is just fine. Here we're gonna select Navigation Drawer Activity instead of add no activity since why would you reinvent the wheel so click next again no need to change anything here click finish all right now that this is done let's first close this up we are going to start off by modifying our original navigation drawer so to do that we're just going to head first of all to navigation header and right now it would look like this you can picture it on the side with all the elements so we're going to change it now this is some XML and I don't want to spend all of my time the tutorial just typing so I'm just going to copy paste it you can look at the code on your on your own time so this is going to be this all of this code here a bit long but it's mainly it's almost the same thing except that it's a relative layout and this is the main difference now it's yelling at me we're gonna fix it in a moment but this is the main difference it's called a circle image it's a library to have a uh, circle images uh, obviously <laughs> so we're gonna go to our gradle this one and we we're going to add the, the dependency for it it's compile the dot apo of circle image view 1.3.0 and we're gonna build it all right now if you go back to the navigation drawer we you can still see that we have two more problems those are the background and the source for the profile that was the little Android that was about here so we're going to add those you can choose whatever image you have just make sure that the background is not too large to do that we are going to go to the drawables uh, we're going to say new multi uh, batch drawable, drawable import I covered to get these three buttons in here in the last tutorial so if you don't know how to do that just check it out it's a uh, android studio plugin we're going to add it i actually just have it in my desktop from this tutorial let's add the background first and that should be it Now let's add the profile. It's also XRXDPI. Just select OK. It's importing them. So now you go here. They should be right there. There. They just didn't want to load. Now this is how our drawable is going to look like. This is the circle image library and this is the background I just pasted in 
nothing too weird and then we have two text views one is for computer science tutorials right here and the other one is for a simple email which would be here it's just a bunch of properties in each of them all right now i don't really like these colors too much so we're gonna just quickly update the colors this should be in the values colors.xml i'm just gonna copy paste it again this is just a set of colors that i personally like save it and if you go back here you can see how our colors automatically change that's really nice all right so now we need to actually make the navigation drawer work because if you open if you run it right now it should run just fine but it's not gonna do anything you're gonna see the beautiful navigation drawer but it's not gonna do anything so we're gonna use fragments for this so we're going to go to our layout up bar main and we need to make a small change you see that right now this is using this content main xml to show the stuff in here well we're actually gonna use a frame layout the width is going to be match parent and match parent for the height too and we're also gonna add it in a d android id is equal to of id fragment container this is uh, just a uh, i guess general way of using fragments that you can change programmatically just add a frame layout and in your code you can substitute it we'll do it later right other than this there shouldn't be anything new this is the toolbar we're going to start making the fragments so to do that we're just going to go to our java code the here main activity and we're going to say new fragment blank and select this since we're not gonna make anything complicated and that's just a bunch of uh, filler code we're gonna name it main fragment it's gonna be called fragment main finish it and then we're gonna add another fragment just to show you how you can change between fragments so it's gonna be new fragment gallery fragment again and select those two and voila one quick thing that you need to change though in both fragments if you click on the import here you're gonna see that it's importing android.app.fragment that is not right. I don't know why Android Studio keep do keeps doing it. It's a problem. So just do Android dot support dot b4 dot app dot fragment, and we're going to do the same thing on the other in the other gallery fragment, right there. Let's save it. Now we're going to just edit those fragments. First of all, you can just delete this thing. We're not really going to use it doesn't matter that it's yelling so we're gonna go to main fragment right here and we're gonna just uh, change it real quick instead of having this we're gonna have a button to make it a bit more obvious width is gonna be wrap content wrap content for the height for the height Android text going to equal to main Android wrapping is equal to 8 dp I'm actually just gonna copy this it's way too slow I think I have it somewhere in here just my button I mean this is just in case you guys were wondering I don't me memorize the code at the top of my head just because it's like too much in some tutorials like this one so I just usually look at a transcript this is the button I just change it to the relative layout so we can have it centered that's not important to make the app work but it's just uh, to make it nicer to look at I mean it's just a button but still 
Right, once we have the fragment on, we're gonna go to the gallery fragment and we're gonna basically do the same thing. Relative layout too. And now we actually are going to implement the code. This should be in main activity. So yes, sometimes it likes being a pain, so again just build it and it should go away. There's not we haven't done anything wrong. So two things we're gonna change. First of all, we want to keep track of what uh, view we are and we want even we want to keep the toolbar as uh, global. So we're gonna do a navigation view. Navigation view is equal to null and same thing for the toolbar. This is yes, so we have access to them globally. So we can just delete that. And same thing for the navigation view, nothing too special. If you are comfortable with Java, that shouldn't be too too complicated, I guess. Alright, so right after set content view, we're gonna add the code to set our fragment. Initially, like the moment the application starts, we're gonna set the first fragment to the main fragment. Main activity dynamic main main fragment. Fragment equals new main fragment and read the support the v4 app fragment transaction. Fragment transaction. This is just the typical syn syntax to change between one fragment and another. Get a preference. Begin transaction. Fragment transaction dot replace. Or dot db dot fragment container. That's just the name that we defined in the app var main. And we're gonna replace it with paste it the fragment we just created. And then to make this happen, you just need to do a fragment dot. Oh, sorry, fragment transaction dot commit voila and other than that we just need to go to our we just need to make the uh, app actually work in two ways if we click on the camera icon we're just gonna go to the main one so in that case we can literally just copy paste it And this again, this comes with the template, so I, that's why I didn't really want to do it again because it's. I think this is actually like, the best way to do it. It comes so greatly generated. So now we're gonna have instead a gallery fragment. You know, gallery fragment, and that should be it. Now, if you are if in your app, you're going to have multiple fragments. This is just because I'm doing a quick tutorial. What you want to do is you want to have a fragment interface, a general fragment interface, and your gallery fragment and main fragment would both extend it, I implement it. Sorry. That way, you don't have to specify main fragment or gallery fragment in here. You can just cast them. And if we didn't make any mistakes, we can just run the app and I'll show you what we just did. We I can explain it a bit later. While this runs, let's uh, talk a bit about the code. Alright, so if you go to the menu, you can see activity main drawer. And this is basically just uh, the different elements in the list in the navigation drawer. So the camera, uh, gallery icon, flag. so these are all icons and elements that you can click on because they have an ID and that's what we used earlier on in the the main activity right here so the camera, the gallery activity main there's nothing special 
it in, it's including the app bar main which is basically just the a view with the floating action button and the navigation and toolbar and on top this is basically a navigation drawer sorry I'm going to me later this is the navigation drawer this is simply this element now at bar main as you can see we have toolbar uh, in an app bar layout then we have our frame and a floating action button this is the default one so it doesn't really do anything it's just floating in there a fragment gallery we just we edited it, we saw it, nothing too special going on in there, same for a fragment main in the navigation header main, the circle button, the images and the background one last thing I almost forgot uh, in the gallery I just remembered I didn't change the title so we wouldn't be able to tell we're in a different fragment so just change the gallery text in there and let's, uh, let's rerun it and boom all right so very simple we have the main fragment right here this is where what we initialize in the on create we can open our navigation drawer see how nice this looks in like just a moment can go to gallery and here it's a different fragment import and gallery it's main because uh, we just set it put it in the import but nothing too special in there. Even even it even comes with a snack bar when you press the floating action button. That's that was uh, in the template. And the nice thing about using fragments that it's really important to understand is that we are only changing this area in here. This is the fragment, and the floating action button is outside of the fragment. So this floating action button is the same one as this one, and same for the toolbar. And if you look at the code. The only thing that our fragment is doing is initializing the XML, which is literally just a button. There's no toolbar and there's no floating action button in our fragment. So you can just reuse your, build your toolbar once for your app, build a general floating action button, have them here, and that's it. You can just keep changing this background window every time so thank you very much for watching hopefully i'll be able to upload a new video within the next month i've, I've been uh, really busy with school work but this weekend i had some time so i decided to do a new one if you have any any other suggestions on what it should do uh, please just post it in the comments throw some likes because they really really help to like they help me make more videos and the plans as of right now, when I have time, I will put a ma uh, tutorial on how to make the action, the fluid action button expand. So, so the uh, diff so a menu when you click on it and animate a bit. All right. So thanks again and see you next time.